No, I don't think I know Adam Bro. You want to talk about a storyteller? That guy has stories, and, and uh, he has a way of telling a story that'll just draw you in. And when he does it, he stares right in the camera, so you feel like it's a one-on-one -on -one thing. Oh, it's like the cremation of Sam McGee. Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah, the guys, are, him and Foxman are the the preeminent storytellers on Vaughn Live. I have I have very limited uh, access to Vaughn Live casters. Um, Why? Well, I just simply don't care. <laughs> <laughs> like I find a lot of them repetitive and stupid. I like Miss Jackie. I like Miss. You're, you're going into the wrong shows then. No, I like Miss Jackie in the morning. I like Soulmates Forever. Soulmates are fun. <laughs> Foxman's fun. Steel. Well, here's the question: Soulmates Forever. Do you like them as in, hey, they're good people, or do you like them because they're creepy? What? Good people. No, good they're people. Nah, like that's we your problem. consider they're them creepy. We consider them adorable friends. <laughs> they're creepy. Come on. They look like mother and son. Like, dude, there's fucking five years between us. No, there isn't. There's not five years between them. There's not five years between us. How old are you? Who are you? <laughs> I love how Joe lies and Allison calls him out on it Who immediately. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> I don't think and, and Maybe Joe's not lying. Maybe he's really that's, just that out of it. That's what it is. Like, he honestly just thought <laughs> I'll tell you when I catch him in a lie. I love that perplexed, perplexed look on your face too, Joe, when you get called Like, out. no fucking idea. Like, what? <laughs> what? 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 What would be your second guess of how many years are between us? <laughs> Please count on your fingers, Joe. Please. Three! That's right. So I'm 44, you're 41. No. I'm not 44? No. That's, <laughs> that's Fox Man's fault. You don't know how old you are, bro. Oh my god, I'm not even 41. Yes, you are. I am? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Am I 44? No. I'm 41. No. 42. Yes. Uh, which makes you 39. Correct. What? Oh, fuck. I'm going to trade you up for a younger. It's true. Like, it's kind of actually overdue. Joe, not only better, you had you better start treating her good because she's a good person, but you're going to be shitting in your pants like a 90-year-old by the time you're 50. No, I didn't say treat her better. I said trade her up for a younger. Yeah, I know what you said. You better keep her and do everything you can. Oh, are you kidding? She's going to be, like, shoving fucking suppositories in my ass or going to kill me. Joe, if you lose Allison, what are your odds that you're going to get anybody with this kind of a mind? Yeah, it's a razor uh, sharp mind. You have to... Zero to 100%. I love that he said my mind, not my tits. Oh, well, tits are, tits are tits. No, that was really, like, tits, nice. Tits don't matter. I appreciate that. You can't carry on a conversation with your tits for long. No, well, I don't, like... You they're really interesting. Like, well, I can... They are, but, you know, it's not going to carry a... 20. I can talk to them for a while. How long did you say? It's not going to carry you 20-plus years. No. No, no. If you lose Allison, you're going to have to talk to Adam, bro, about how to get chicks. That guy's got stories. Oh, dude, if I lose Allison... Who's that? Come Adam, on. bro. He's Adam, bro, 21. In but your like, room. What? Like, what's his... Yeah, deal? next girlfriend. Um... Oh, fuck. I, I forget the details, so forgive me, Adam. I think he was banging another chick once, and it was his ex-girlfriend, and she caught him, and she chased him down the street to the house and, and pulled a knife on It's this crazy story. Wow. Crazy story. It's like that time you found the weird underwear in our apartment. <gasps> oh, my God. That day was insane. I just thought they were yours. I had no fucking idea. Wait, what? Okay, so there's this... Oh, my God. So... <laughs> you found underwear in Joe's apartment? I found underwear... In our apartment. Yeah. So we had just moved in together. 
and it was the second time in our relationship that we had tried moving in together the first time. It didn't really, yeah, it didn't work out. suck. So. Family members suck even more. Because you weren't sure if you, you wanted to commit to a 400 pound guy? No, no, it, it didn't have anything to do with that. Uh, it was because um, he was a horrible boyfriend for a lot mm-hmm. of years. Like, he was a really terrible boyfriend. I yeah. I left him several times over the years that we've known each other. And uh, so, what was the question? Underwear. Oh, Underwear. Yeah. Holy mother fuck. So... I just come out of the shower or whatever, getting ready for work in the morning. You know, I come out, Joe goes in, he's in the shower. I come into the bedroom, I'm like, you know, just doing my normal, whatever. And I look and there's this pair of underwear on the floor that are not mine. This little fongy pair of fucking underwear is sitting on our bedroom floor but the thing that's like crazy is that like you know we work almost the same hours everything's like there's just no, no the crazy thing is i am not stupid enough to bring my skank home to fuck well that's not what i talk said but initially it's like well like when or what or how well if i can i i know there's an end of this story but Men will find a way, and yes, they are stupid enough to do that. Go ahead. Okay, so then he's in the shower, and I'm blow-drying my hair or doing whatever in the bedroom, and I'm just fuming, like I'm, like, freaking. My, like, heart's pounding. I'm all upset. He comes out, and I'm like, what? Like, what are these? Or I don't know what I asked you, but something. I presented you with these underwear. And he's like, what? Like, these aren't mine. Oh, right. (laughs) Like, these are not mine. And they were in here. Whatever I said. I was so mad. I don't even know. And that was a long time ago. So, the look on his face. He's immediately crestfallen panicked, uh, like, just doesn't know what to do with himself. And immediately I knew, because I had already known him for a ton of years, that he had absolutely no idea where these underwear had come from. So he's, like, stammering and trying to, you know, "Ah, like, what's, you know, those aren't your underwear? Like, are you sure? Like, what's, you know? (laughs) They've been there for four days. So we go... I haven't had sex in seven. So we go, we leave for the day, we go to work, both of us, and I forget about it because, like, I immediately, I just, I don't, I just know him so well. I know when I've caught him in a lie, that was not a, a time. So, um, I forget about it, I go, <laughs> I go to work, I go through my whole day of work, I come home, and we're newly, like, moved in together, we're, like, you know, newlyweds or whatever, and I have completely forgotten about the incident with the underwear that morning, so I come in and I'm just, you know, skip to the end, I know my stories are so long, I'm sorry. Um, Don't make apologies to these fuckers. No, it's true, it's true. Don't make apologies. Anyways, so I come in to the apartment, I'm just doing my thing, whatever, like, I don't even know what I was doing, and all I remember is Joe saying, like, I wasn't sure if I should come home after work. I don't remember what he asked me, anything, but I was confused, and he's like, I wasn't sure if I was supposed to come home after work, and I'm like, why? And he's like, well, you know. Because you made me eat pink meatloaf. So... I I uh, was like, oh, shoot, that thing. No, like, I totally, no, nothing. Like, I'm not mad. There's nothing. I believe you. Everything's fine. What? So, oh, wait, where did they come from? Where did he say they came from? No, I didn't. He didn't say, because I, I really oh, knew that he had no clue. God. 
So then, you you 